alerting you to severe weather dangers in eastern Carolina. This is Storm Track 12 meteorologist Domenis Brown. We hope you're having a good Saturday evening out there. Here we go with Storm Track 12 Live Doppler picking up on dry conditions across eastern North Carolina. We don't have to go too far before we see a little bit more moisture, a lot of it at that. Toward the deep south, towards Georgia and Alabama, Mississippi, the Florida Panhandle, where we've seen some tornado reports, wind damage reports as well. As this area of low pressure continues moving our way over the course of late tonight into tomorrow, we're mainly going to see some heavy rainfall on and off. Can't roll out maybe a thunderstorm, but for the most part, we're not expecting widespread severe weather in our area. Area. The rain chances though will be up to about 100% as we go through the day. There will be a few lulls in some of the precipitation. But heading into Monday morning, we could see maybe a changeover. This will be early Monday morning until maybe a rain snow mix for some of our northern counties. We'll track with future cast in just a second. So as we go through tomorrow, just realize that it's going to be cloudy, damp, kind of cool in some areas as well. Some spots may not get out of the upper 40s for afternoon high temperatures, others some lower 50s, especially along the immediate coast. I'm I'm just going to call it 50 for right now. There, it could be on either side, but look at the rain chances best mainly into the morning time. There could be a few holes in there. We'll see some rainfall even into the evening time. So grab a good book or go to the movies. Have a couple movies here and there if you're going to stay at home because it's going to be kind of a nasty day out there. So temperatures right now kind of on the mild side. 60s, 50s here and there across the viewing area. We're seeing some clouds kind of overspreading us. Winds are kind of light and variable right now, but as we go through tomorrow, as this area of low pressure begins to move into our area, our winds are going to really kick up mainly from the north and northeast, and we do have coastal flood advisories in effect for Craven and Carteret counties, especially Sunday night going into the day on Monday, Monday afternoon, early afternoon. We're going to have some northerly winds out there, and so we could see some sound side flooding here and there, about one to two, maybe three foot foot uh, level rises with the water out there, so we could see some minor flooding in some parts of the area. So we're looking at the cloud cover. We're also looking at the showers here and there as well, area of low pressure that's spinning here and there, uh, along with an upper level low as well. We're going to maintain this one right here, at least maintain looking at this particular activity as it moves over portions of Alabama and Georgia to have some bowing out there as well. We're going to see the clouds first, and we're already seeing them. They will continue to thicken across our skies tonight through tomorrow morning, and then we'll see this rainfall kind of overspreading us mainly from southwest to north and east across the viewing area. As it does so, we're going to see this moisture kind of lifting up our way with the main storm track, keeping the area of low pressure kind of moving towards our area and then eventually going offshore. As it does so, we do have some colder air that will rush in behind it, and we could see maybe a change over to a little bit of snow. So let's track it. Storm track to a future gas hour by hour. As we go through the remainder of this evening, still seeing the clouds and then that rainfall spreading from southwest to north and east, starting mainly after midnight for our far southern counties, and then lifting up. And you're going to see some green. You're going to see some yellow here and there. The yellow indicating more moderate to heavy rainfall as we move through the morning and early afternoon as well. And there could be a few holes in some of the rainfall. We'll keep it kind of rainy even into the evening time, and there could be some moisture kind of wrapping around. This is uh, as the area of low pressure moves more offshore, and we could see some snow flurries, especially for areas north of 264, where you see some of this purple color here. We're probably looking at maybe some snowfall uh, less than a half an inch here and there, and then we're clearing out as we go through the day on your Monday. Talking about some of the snowfall potential, I just want you to take a quick look at it, mainly going to be for these areas north of 264 near the Albemarle Sound and for the outer banks. As I put this into quick motion as well, rainfall estimates a good inch or more in some areas. We could be looking at maybe, maybe a little bit more than two inches of rainfall as we go through here and there across the viewing area for tomorrow. So that change the snow mainly going to be for areas north of town near the Albemarle Sound north of 264. As we take you out over the next seven days on your planning forecast, we're going to keep it kind of cool and breezy on your holiday Monday. Temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s, and then we'll see another chance of rainfall, mainly going to late Wednesday night going into your Thursday. And so what a difference uh, a day makes. Today was great. A, a gorgeous day. Uh -huh. So things are going to be a lot different as we go through tomorrow. All right, Domenis.